here's the latest version of this system. So this is our fourth generation system, and I've modified it about twice. This is like version 4.2. We're producing 155 degree water on the hot side, thermosiphoning up, and that water is coming down at 140 because it's been overnight and no one's showered in a little while. That'll drop real quickly when you use hot water, and this will drop more slowly, but we have tons of hot water. It's a 50 gallon tank. So cool water is dropping down here via gravity. There's no pump. You do not want a pump in this system. Comes here, you wanna avoid 90 degree turns when you can, because you wanna keep overall efficiency high, friction down. Then there's six tubes going up in here that is behind this panel that comes out here, runs again behind the stove, always at a rise to promote the thermosiphon. Comes out here, I tidied up this side because uh, I needed to adjust it. I needed more height, I didn't wanna drop it down here. So sweated pipe on here. This is where it picks up about 10 more degrees going through the stove itself. And then it comes out here. And then there's a serpentine exchanger that I covered with this welded piece. Picks up six degrees here, then goes up into the hot tank. This picks up about five degrees. This picks up about 10. This picks up about six. Um, these flat plates, horizontally, you gotta be really careful. That slows the thermosiphon. I'm not done modifying this system uh, because that slows the thermosiphon up too much when you start the stove. I need to dump a little water to get the thermosiphon going. That's not ideal. I've never had to do that in my other systems, but this is producing more hot water with a very high efficiency burn and I'm not, I'm not sucking any heat out of the firebox. You don't wanna do that because a high efficiency burn depends on super high firebox temperatures.